Hey everyone, welcome back! Just to be clear, the title and thumbnail are what you're getting. This is an almost invincible Gels. It is still possible to die, Toxin will still kill you, and certain scenarios in the rotations can also kill you. This is a Gauss meant for Steel Path Endurance. For basic Steel Path, it works fine, but due to how good Gauss's kit is already, there really isn't a need to use something like this. But it does keep your entire setup very open and able to run whatever kind of build you want, unlike most random frame quasi-invincibility setups. In fact, this does work on other frames too, but just not as well, and we'll get into why in the next bit. So, Angels of Zerima. Our first big update since the new war. With it came a massive Focus rework, so we called Focus 3.0. I went over the entire Focus rework in an older video that you can check out at the top right if you want. A lot of my videos in the coming weeks will be delivering on the original concepts and theorycraft we discussed in that video. Today, we're looking at the new Vazarin tree, specifically the Guardian Shell and Guardian Break rework. If you didn't know, Void Blast has been removed from the game, and anything that triggered off of it for Operator abilities are now moved to the 1 and 2 keys. Yes, Operators now have ability slots. Guardian Shell has been reworked from a raw shield value to operate like Iron Skin. It absorbs all damage taken on the directional shield for 4 seconds to charge up its EHP. Unfortunately, this Guardian Shell has a very narrow angle of protection, narrower than I expected and even narrower than what it visually shows. You can easily get killed from enemies being just slightly off angle. Also, Void Shell follows your camera angle direction, making it a little bit harder to use. But the real kicker today is what happens when the shield is broken. This triggers Guardian Break, which makes shields regenerate 150% faster, or 2.5 times as fast. It's useful, but not the highlight. The second stat though, Regeneration Delay, is reduced by 90% for 8 seconds. This is it. Normal Shield Regeneration Delay, when your shields break are broken, takes 4 seconds. Shield Gate lasts either 1.3 seconds or 0.33 seconds, depending on if your shield reached full before it breaks again. The 90% Shield Regen Delay buff from Guardian Break cuts that 4 seconds down to 0.4 seconds. Partial Shield Gate lasts 0.33 seconds, so every single time your shield breaks, if Guardian Break is active, there's only a 0 0.07 second window your health can be damaged before your shields come back. This is what works on every single frame. It also means that there is a 0 0.07 second window where you can be killed when your shields drop. Your odds of being hit in this 0 0.07 seconds window are pretty low, so on a lot of frames, Guardian Break seems pretty OP if you can make good use of it in Endurance on top of Protective Dash. But Gauss is different. Gauss is the only frame in the game, there are no mods that do this, that has innate shield regeneration delay buffs. His passives, the Redline Battery, reduces shield regen delay a further amount, up to 80% that stacks multiplicatively on top of Guardian Break, depending on the battery level. No matter how low the battery is, even the empty battery stacks on top enough to bring your shield regeneration delay under 0.33 seconds. This means your shields will now regenerate faster than your shield gate expires, meaning so long as Guardian Break is active, you are literally unkillable on Gauss, outside of toxic damage. But this requires Guardian Break to be active to work, right? So how do we get it to work reliably? You only get Guardian Break when a Guardian Shell breaks. A lot of people hate protective slinging yourself after the update. So instead of protective dashing yourself, which you can still do by the way, just cast your 1 on your operator instead. You don't want your Guardian Shell to be tanky, so in the 4 seconds it charges up, face away from enemies. This is where Rolling Guard, Protective Dash, or just finding a safe space works well. Once Guardian Shell is fully active, you want it to break ASAP, so make your frame face some enemies shooting you in and should break near instantly. Congratulations! Gauss is now invincible outside of Toxin Damage for 8 seconds. In this time, you can recast Guardian Shell again so that it breaks again, before the 8 seconds of invincibility is up. It's kind of a mess, but functional, and is a bit better than the old Protective Dash meta for Endurance. But this isn't where it ends either. We can take another Arcane, Arcane Aegis. It triggers on shield damage. Because Guardian Break is already active for 8 seconds, the entire time your shield will be constantly regenerating and thus eligible to proc Arcane Aegis. We already know how Arcane Aegis works and how it made Heldrin basically invincible outside of Toxin in the past when it procs. But it was always annoying to proc because you needed shields to proc it. But now we have a way to constantly regenerate shields outside of Aegis and essentially have two Arcane Aegises that can set off 
of each other. If Aegis actually procs, well, now you have so much more time to set up Guardian Shell again, and have the shield be low HP. Together, you will cycle between Guardian Break and Arcane Aegis to keep yourself aligned. And because this only uses a single arcane slot and a focus school you would probably already be using in Endurance, your entire Gauss build, and by extension, even your helmet, are completely free to use. And because it is meant for Endurance Steel Path where you get swarmed by enemies and obviously the enemies take a hot minute to kill at level 9k, you'll be taking a lot of hits. So while Aegis is hard to trigger and isn't going to be up always, you will get a lot more use out of this synergy at level cap than base Steel Path, when enemies fold like fodder and not as many things get to hit you. There you go, that's all you need to know about the interaction. Basically pick Vazarin, be in Steel Path Endurance, use your protective dash as much as you want, but make sure to cast your Guardian Shell every time you go Operator. Try not to have it build up a lot of EHP. Let it break whenever for busted shield gate strats, have Arcane Aegis on to extend the shield regen spam, and more time to reset Guardian Shell. While this isn't exactly the 100% damage reduction build I made on Trinity in the past, this is a way less invasive setup that just flows naturally into pre-existing Vazarin Endurance Gauss setups. You want a Gauss build to use? You can stack this with the generic Shield Gate Gauss as well, on top of the Vazarin Guard Break and Aegis Cheese. This Gauss I have here is a basic silence Gauss build focus around a more melee. You only want enough range to stun enemies in your immediate vicinity, and you can restun them by just dashing back and forth with your one to exit the area. But other Gauss builds can work well too. I would actually suggest a Firewalker, because you will get status immunity, meaning Dots will not be able to kill you past your shield gate ever if they persist beyond your Guardian Break or Arcane Aegis proc durations. Using group CCs like Airburst or other choices can also work decently well. But ironically, this Vazarin setup prefers more aggressive setups not focused on CC, like Silence of the Airburst. In honesty, Roar would work really really well if you're willing to juggle and manage the Arcane Aegis and Guardian Break bus to the fullest extent, however, that's very ADHD and hyperactive. But it will let you kill enemies with impunity when your buffs are up. Use whatever weapons you want, be it melee or gun DPS. You could use a primer melee setup like Epitaph since your 2 already gives you prime sure footed always as well as 100% DR to heat, cold, blast, and IPS when your battery is at 100%, so it's easy spam Epitaph with impunity. You could also bring a Zara Brahma if you want for endurance with that bonus fire rate and prime sure footed built in. It's all up to you, and that's why this works so well since the new Vazarin synergy complements your loadout rather than interfering with it like the Trinity 100% DR setup I made over half a year ago. If this is your first time watching, feel free to leave a like, or better yet, subscribe. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. 79.5% of you are not subscribed. I'm trying my best to get new information out always as soon as possible. Like I've done with the new Angels of Zeremon update. Stick around if you want to see interesting memes and builds on a nearly daily basis. Don't want to miss out on any of that, do you? That'll be it for this video. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.